two, one. Hey, I'm Jay Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout. We're looking at what's new at Rod's Hot Rods and Faithful Avenue. And uh, i got Darby here with me because... Back again. Well, Rod is <laughs> on a little vacation. Yeah. Yeah, Rod's in Alberta. Him and his wife, Dallas, have, uh, well, they're down one more pizza store, one more yeah. family pizza. Yeah. And to celebrate their newfound freedom there. Yeah, second honeymoon <laughs> in Alberta, yeah. yeah. One of Rod's favorite places. So they're away this week right now, and uh, we get to we get to fill and have some fun. Yeah, yeah. It's always we, nice when he's gone. We get to do what we want to do, right? Don't have to ask permission. Yeah. Just beg for forgiveness later. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. all. Uh, we're going to take you through the showroom today because we got one new vehicle to look at. One we haven't seen before. It arrived last week, and it's really cool. Yeah. And then we've got, cool. uh, well, we, we thought we'd just kind of go through... All the stuff we haven't looked at in a while. Yeah, you know, we kind of like just go blow by it right? when we do a video. Yeah. And there's lots of cars that have been here for eh, a little while, and they could use a little extra attention. A little so love, yeah, yeah. So we'll get another shot of them. We'll take it. We'll take you through with us. Yeah. So here we go. Let's kick it off. This uh, this is a kind of a car that we're going to start with right here. That is like my kind of car. Look at this land yacht. I got to like, back up. You like them when they're big and white, hey? Yeah, that's right. This uh, is of a, a convertible variety. What do we got? 60 what? 66 Impala SS. And it's a real SS. Look at that. Yeah. Real SS, 396, automatic. So obviously red, red interior, red yeah. top. Big block. Actually, the wheels are pretty cool. And look at yeah, this big juicy 20s, interior. Yeah. Buckets, console. Right, yeah. I mean, this car is, is as nice on, on the underside as it, is, as it is up top here. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's a beauty. I think it's called Polar White. It's the same white that GM used for everything back in the '60s. Oh yeah, it's shared with everything. But same as your Buick. Exactly. I think we can is pop your, the hood. Is your Buick this white, or is it? Is well, it, is it I don't know. It 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 seems more kind of creamy than this one. But you know, I've been so busy, I never even did my usual research on the hood. So I'm just gonna. Oh, look at here. that! You just just went for it. Holy cow! Oh, is that ever clean? Wow! Yeah, yeah. it's just a 396. Just a little guy with 325 horsepower, but it's got all all the goodies that you want: power steering and power brakes. That's really all you need, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We yeah. must have that. Looks. That looks different than it's supposed to look, I think, right? What's that? No, the maybe. Booster? Yeah. Like, do we have disc brakes on this thing? Or do they drums? I wonder. Uh, I think they're just drums. Are they just drums? Up, created to disc. No, yeah, it's got, oh, front, it's got discs disc, in the front. Discs yep. in the front, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah drums in the back, yeah. It's a little modified, which is cool, but you get a little more stopping power. But, oh man, is that ever clean? I can't get over that. Yeah. Electronic. Yeah, uh, yeah, HEI. And HEI now. So a little bit of a conversion to that, but otherwise, yeah. phew, that's Pr pretty, pretty awesome. stock, though, even all the. You know, the rad hoses and clamps and... Yeah. They look pretty original. They do, yeah. I mean, yeah. Look, look at those. That's awesome. Wow. They just... Uh, this is like a brand new old car, really, yeah. is what it looks like. Yeah, like, look at the rad. Like, it's... Everything is perfect. Sweet. Phenomenal. Super sport. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, gonna, like, new, new rims, tires. Everything was... Everything was new in this car. Like, I think it's only had... What well, was maybe 500 miles since it was oh, man. Re restored, so it needs to be driven. It does. This is like a parade car. Let's yeah. uh, let's show them what you do if you uh, you're gonna put it in a parade. If you're gonna go on a parade, you hit this magic switch here, and that's the wrong way. There we go. Look at that. Down she goes. Nice. Of course, we got like the rivets out here. <laughs> right. So it's got a it's got a boot that goes on top of it too. Yeah, we actually ordered the boot. Didn't oh, really? We? Yeah, we ordered a boot from RPM, so it should be here. In nice. A week or two. Yeah. Nice. That's kind of really all it needs. I mean, I mean, like because it's a top a topless, we got power windows, right? Yeah. So that's all in there and working. Yeah. Comfy seats. Oh, it's a, like this is just awesome. Yeah, it's a Red and it's white. a real good cruiser. Phenomenal. A good, a good summertime car. No kidding. No kidding. Take the whole family. Okay, before we take off to the back showroom, let's go up here because we got, we're going to cover everything. We're just going to go through all of it yeah. today. This little 68 Mustang has been here for a little while. And yeah, it's dude, we've had this for well, a couple months. 68 GT, full, fully restored. Uh, three awesome three color combo. Yeah, this is, this is just yeah. waiting. And the paint on this car is beautiful. There's full pictures too of the, of the restoration on this one. Like it was, Totally, totally taken down, nut and bolt. 
That's just waiting for uh, its forever home too. Yeah. Automatic, anybody can drive it. Yeah, it's, it's got some cool things. I always like the Mustangs always have this nice little accordion, like a, like a mini <laughs> bread box. <laughs> eh? and you, know what it, you know what it looks like to me actually? It looks like a really James Bond type feature. Just a little you bit, know? Eh? Like, like, there's a, a, like Aston Martin DB5 yeah. kind of thing. Like we should have like a little uh, sonar, radar, maybe rocket launchers behind yeah, that little thing. some buttons back here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, nice ride. This is a pretty unique truck, uh, you know, you gotta like yellow, it's very yellow, yeah, but very it is yellow. just done to the, the nines too, right? I mean, look at this. Dash out of what, a 58 or 59? Uh, 59. 59 Chev, yeah. right? Yeah. So some pretty cool 59, customization. Yeah, 59 Impala, and it's, it would've been a lot of work to put that in there, that whole thing is shortened and. Yeah, well, know, it's, it's, it's all a, seamless. Yeah, it'd be a ton of work. But I mean, look at the tubs in the back of this. Fuel cells back here, the battery as well. And we yeah. got some, some air ride action too. Air ride, so. yeah. This one has a 502 uh, fuel injected. I think it's got a Fitech oh, fuel, fuel injection on it. Holy smoke. I mean, the thing about this is like, that's, you could drive this anywhere. Yeah. You know, oh, like yeah, this could, you got the right ride height, you could go anywhere. You could go all the way to, you know, BC with it. Yeah, out to the Atlantic Canada, just go for a, like an awesome big long road trip in the summer. It's ready to go. Yeah, just I would bring a couple extra jerry cans of <laughs> gas because that fuel cell isn't very big for a 502. So, a little thirsty. Yeah, you, you'd have to look, keep your eye out for gas stations. <laughs> Plan that route. Ah, you know, it's no different than an electric car, right? Exactly, charging stations or gas stations. Gas stations, right? yeah. We got our double stack here going on. It's all the colors yeah. on the top. Tub, tub Central here. Tub, tub Central. <laughs> it's awesome. You know, the great thing is that now that we have these lifts in here, somebody wants to come and look at the underside of something. Yeah. Although, if you look at the underside of Bob's vet over there, there's nothing to see. It's no. just plastic. But it looks anyways. Like the bottom of a bathtub. <laughs> yeah. This truck here, we actually have a pending sale on it. So we're just kind of waiting no for way. some shipping. It might be heading south. Oh, awesome. South of the border, so. It's pretty wickedly cool. I know this went, is this a SEMA truck? Is it was, that what it was? It was built for SEMA, yeah. Built for SEMA. Yeah. And I mean, like, customized endlessly. Yeah. And then left that way, and, and just ever since it's been, it's yeah. been like that. It was basically just painted and tubbed and exhaust and then sent off, and a fancy stereo. Crazy then, stereo, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. sent to SEMA, and then, well, it only has, I think, 12,000 kilometers, so it I, really wasn't driven. I think this is the one that has, a like, a subwoofer pass-through between the cab and the dust and the box right yeah. yeah there's like subs that fill the, the box but then yeah. all this the sound comes through that chevy chevy bow tie shaped hole. yeah yeah it's fully carpeted look at this nova i don't know it was, yeah 69 got a 454 board out i can't remember how many cubic inches four this is again 496 cubic inches this is again one that's like i can't believe it's still here actually i know it's such it's a beautiful so, car so juicy yeah it's just done right. It's clean. Yeah. That, that's a humongous size engine. Of those heads, eh? yeah. That's gigantic. And it's in a little Nova. Yeah. A car that you could get with a six cylinder originally, yeah. you know, like. Yeah. Would you just look at it? <laughs> Would you just look at it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Little drop top action back here with our 32 Phaeton, as we call it. But, yeah. you know, it, this car is, has had its top up for a long time. You drop yeah. the top and it looks totally different. Yeah, it does, yeah. It's 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 a, well, a wicked restoration. And it's like a pewter color, like it's not really silver. It's not gray, it's not champagne. It's no. it's, a, it's a pretty neat color. It's, it's more, probably the best paint job in here. It honestly is, it's, yeah. it's, it looks like liquid. I think and then all a, the custom work that's in here, at the dash, oh, you know, this is all blends custom, all custom into it. Custom made it's, metal, yeah. It's all, and it's all metal. Yeah, there was so, $100,000 in metal work in this geez. car when it was built. Wow, that's a sweet ride. And it shows, yeah. Okay, which way you want to go? Ah, we can look at this little 67 here. Now, this is a returnee, right? Yeah. This is yeah. a truck that we had before. Yeah, we somebody, had it. Too. Somebody wanted something else, so they, they brought it back to us. Yeah, we and had it painted when we had yeah, it. Yeah, I remember that, because it was, it had a, it was such a perfect truck, except for a really yeah, it was orange pretty or peel. Pretty orange peel. Paint, paint, so, paint yeah. job. <laughs> So it's all done right now. It's yeah. all totally a it's perfect a paint job. It's a real good, real good runner driver. Yeah. 67 is, I think it's the nicest one. Small back window. Yep. But this 67 has marker lights on it, which someone yeah. put on. 
Yeah, because that didn't change, come out till what, 68? We got marker size. lights, right? Yeah. 68 was the first year. The first year of that, yeah. right? So, yeah. okay, a little mod, but nice. You should just nice sit in that seat, Jay. You ever sat in that seat? I haven't. I'm going to sit Tell in that seat. Tell me how you think it feels. <laughs> That's the firmest seat in history, I think. What's in it? here? Is there like I a, don't know. I think am I sitting on a basketball? Or inner tubes or something? That like used to be an old trick and put an old combine inner tubes? inner tubes. Yeah. I think that must be what's in here, blown up to about 85 PSI. It's, it's hard, yeah. What's what's with that? Okay. Weird, Custom. but. <laughs> custom. <laughs> it, is custom. A, it is a custom. It is yeah. a custom. All right, water from one to the other. Take your variety of what color you want. Right? Yeah, these are very similar trucks, diff different years. Of course. Both lowered, both rally wheels, Corvette rallies. Yep, one set there, yeah. one set there. This same this, one, This we did lots of work to this truck too. New seats, carpet, dash It's a pad. great color combo though, yeah. you know, like it, it yeah, really it is, is a yeah. awesome Pretty classic look. kind of a yep. farmer looking truck really. <laughs> farmer looking with truck. The, with these colors. This is, well, this is a going to town rig though. Oh look yeah. how nice it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? I like this. You can actually use it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you wouldn't you use it and abuse it, but uh, no, you but could, you could. You could. You could take you know. some stuff to the lake in this. You yeah. could, you know, whatever. You could haul something, anyways. Your your quad that we were talking about. Haul ass too. Here's grease lighting. Yeah, so. grease lighting. Yeah, forty one Ford. This rag top only. This one has a five three LS. It's a four L sixty. Cool. Yeah, this Bruce at um, Bruce Hagel did all the upholstery in this car. Pleats in it are so fun. Yeah, I mean, look at look at how it sits too. Like just yeah, right on the ground. Yeah, but it's that a, it's a it actually rides pretty good. Like I, for, I bet for it an air ride car. That's such a wickedly cool car. Yeah, it's really neat that the body of that car is flat, but that the flames are glossy. Yeah, this is gloss. That's that's a lot of work to do that. It would be a lot of right? work. Yeah. And all the striping in here and see that's why I didn't have my floor in my pocket because it's ringing right now. Because <laughs> it's ringing. Yeah. Another big boat, '69 Chevy. '69. Yeah. This is actually a real beauty. It is. Green on green, big bench seats. The power, power everything. This is a really a lot like my own my own Buick. This whole like the, oh, the yeah, mask around. the mask around the front is they're really close yeah you know they're a little little different but uh yeah pretty pretty similar, similar, a lot really. of the same stuff yeah. yeah same year a lot of the same stuff a little a little dressed up in my buick but this is a pretty classy car too yeah hard top no pillar green 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 yeah this would be a good one to pull a little camper with or something you got oh. a four, 427 so you got lots of power lots of juice yeah yeah. Oh, this has got power windows in it. Yeah. I think power it's got, seat. Is that a power lock switch up there? I don't know, but maybe. Anyways, pretty awesome and original. Like. And there it is. Oh yeah, big look at that. Twenty-seven. Yeah. That is big. Wow. Yeah. The only thing it doesn't have is air conditioning. But that's okay. It's a hard top. You get an open <laughs> That's a lot right. Of windows. That's right. I don't use my AC that much. No. You know what? Even with a big block, it's amazing. Those old AC compressors, they actually suck a lot of power. They really, oh, really? Do. they really do. I mean, the car still, still powers through it, but you know, yeah. oh, you can feel you, it. You flick that thing on and a uh, tachometer drops by a hundred RPM. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 You really lose your gas mileage, eh? Yeah. Yeah. What gas mileage? <laughs> <laughs> I like this car. Yeah, this is pretty, a pretty cool little car. This is an 80. Little, little formula. Formula, that's yeah. right. And it's like, there's so many cool, wicked things about it. These yeah. wheels, you just never see those anymore, no. right? They were the, tur the turbo Trans Am wheels. Yeah. Turbo formula, because this is a 301 turbo. It's quite a loaded up car, actually. We got power windows in this. Like, who ordered these with power windows? Almost nobody, right? No, not many. Really cool. Pattern seats very, really original. Very original yeah. car. Like I think from the stripe down, the paint, like the decals are still original. Yep. I believe the top's been redone, right? Yeah, it has. But yeah, yeah this the bottom half is all original, which yeah. is actually surprising because you'd think that's the first part that would go. Well, yeah. But it's the opposite. Yeah. So. Yeah. Even the the dash is nice. The console, oh, yeah. they're usually like where you put your elbow there. It's usually yep. busted out. Yeah. Exactly. This is a pretty fun little unit. Big powerhouse, yeah, that 301. What did they have for horsepower in the... I don't probably know, probably high 140? Yeah. 130, 180, yeah, not were, even that. They were more just for conversation, I think, than horsepower, but it's pretty neat. Yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't look uh, too usual. In no, here. yeah, it's like, what is a carburetor yeah. doing on that side of the engine? Yeah, but so it's turbo, it's turbocharged, yep. right? Yeah, yeah, like, like it's, but that's not even what a turbocharger looks like these days. You know what I mean? Not really. Not no, really. They, they all work the same way, but they look totally different, and they they never put them right there. You know what? I just realized too. <laughs> There's a oh, big yeah. heat shield because they run the exhaust up here. Yeah. That's a nice way to uh, melt the paint off. So yeah. they obviously took some action with that. But look at this AC in here. Yeah. And, and I think the AC works too. And they, these cars, like, this one doesn't have it, but the Trans Ams had the lights in here. You remember oh, yeah. that? Yeah, 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 so yeah. So when you, depending on how much the turbo was going, the lights would come on. That's, that's pretty fun. In, the, in these, starting to be in these years, there's a lot of... Uh, hoses and wires and emission stuff yeah that's hard to figure out but yeah. this car is running great yeah yeah it's pretty smogged out but it it does run and drive very nice these cars are fun to drive yep pretty iconic looking too yeah, yeah i spent a lot of time behind the wheels of uh, 79 <laughs> really? trans am yeah yeah all right flip it over to something much older the 40, big merc 47 merc same thing we've had this for a couple months like it, you know, I can't get over how beautiful, like this feels like satin, like yeah. silk. It's oh, just, yeah, it's, it's perfect it's paint. Really close to quality of paint is that 32 Phaeton over yeah, there. Yeah, it's very close. It's so well done. Yeah. The the candy of the green, you know, there's yeah. like the kind of that, that. It's kind of gold. And when bright, this, when bright this is gold outside, comes out of it. Yeah. When this is outside and the sun's on it, it is unreal. Totally. Interior is very nice. All yeah. like really super buttery leather in here. Yeah. If it was my own personal taste, I wish the interior color was the same as that cool sort of mustard on the wheels, mm -hmm. but it's, it's definitely still not everybody's favorite color. The, the color of interior, it's, it's very gray, but beautifully done. Totally. 350, like all the Mercs that we have in the shop right now. Yep. We have three Mercs and they all got Chevys in them. They all got Chevys. <laughs> but I mean, really well done. Willwood brakes and yeah. this is one of those cars that I, for me, perfect in the fact that it looks like an old car. The only, like there's very few giveaways, unless you pop the hood, yeah. that it's been resto modded. You yeah, know? it's like most 40, 47s are chopped or. Yeah, and all, all this nice like stainless trim is all just gone and you know, yeah. don't get me wrong, those are nice too when they do it, but look at the, look at the detail in this car mm -hmm. that's still on it. Uh, it even would be, these, even these rubber, um, pieces here yeah. to save the that fenders was, from the exactly. stone chips like that you know that's so nice but the stance is just right which is yeah i don't know pretty, well no rod cool. said it's got to get lower in the back but well it's never low enough for rod <laughs> yeah low and slow ramon low and slow ramon <laughs> 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 little quote from cars there like that look at this oh that's nice that's so nice this one is a customer car it's actually just in to get some work done in the shop tomorrow so. oh I mean, we can't even sell this. We no, it's sold. Oh, okay. We sold it last week. God, that's awesome. Yeah. It came in and it came out. <laughs> in and gone. Yeah, in and gone. So I guess it will give you a sneak peek, but somebody else's already. Somebody, somebody else's baby. Yeah. Right beautiful on. Beautiful GT though. That was a one owner car. A little bit of new coming in the in the corner here. 2014. This yeah. is in wickedly good shape. It is. Yeah. Super low K. Like not a scratch dent nope. on it. No, not at all. Big, and it, big supercharger. I think when we looked at this, there's a ton of PPI, like like paint protection on it, on these on the edges here yeah. and like all over the whole thing. Yeah, it's really clean. Like I don't know where you'd find another 2014 anything yeah. that looks like I this think does. So. It's obviously, never been driven in the winter. And it's black. Like yeah. how do you get a black truck to be that? Perfect paint. Well, be anal or don't drive it. Or don't drive it. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's an option too. A little, little bit of both probably in this case. Yep. Another Merc. Another Merc, yeah. Merc with another Chevy. <laughs> Super cool color. Yeah. Well this done truck. This is a very well done truck. Yeah. The underside is really nice in this truck. Nice, like a pretty tastefully done interior. Yeah. It is nice, yeah. You know, it's automatic. it's actually it's actually nice to see one of these. Like I, I know it's like maybe ten to one Chevys and GMs from the fifties that gun, get done versus Fords and Mercuries. Mm -hmm. So it's it's actually cool to see a Chevy or a Merc because we see lots, yeah, or, or, or a Ford or a Merc, I should say. We see lots of Chevys, right? So oh, lots, yeah. And I don't know what that steering wheel is from. Is that we'll have to ask maybe see if some of the viewers maybe know what that steering wheel is from. Okay, somebody identify. 
I don't think What's, it's a factory steering wheel. No, for it can't sure be. it's not. But it's but maybe it's a Mercury car from that era. Maybe I'm guessing. I know it's I know. I, I know it's not the right one for the truck, but it's cool. It's painted yeah. to match. It is. It looks it is. great. It's the right size for the truck. Going to Chevelle. Yeah, '72 Chevelle. The same one we've had this well basically all summer. Um, thought it would actually been sold right away it's such a nice clean car it really is it's and again it's a green 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 yeah, car you know perfect yeah it's awesome the colors are great yeah I, red I line know, tires i really wish that new cars new new cars would give us some like some stuff like this you know mm -hmm. like like man green, like color match interiors and, yeah, yeah you know or even some options to pick from man it's yeah. getting worse and worse as, as time marches on all we get is black now that's yeah. it you know the odd yeah. gray but i mean if you look walk around here you can find a blue interior and a red interior and a green yeah. one and especially you know, Mopars. brown and, Mopars match the interiors with everything like yeah an orange car had orange interior and totally but this yeah this is nice this this got a really healthy little 350 in it uh, so I think it's 700 R transmission. Oh yeah, look at that. It sounds wicked. Nice. I drove this one a couple days too. This was one of my favorites. Really? Summer. Yeah. Just for like such a smooth ride. And the redline tires look really good. You know, it's it's a handsome car. Yeah. That I can't see that making next next summer because like man, no. we've had a little bit of interest lately, so it, I think it'll go yet. This 37 Ford is again one of those cars that you know we can walk by it a few times mm -hmm. and you start it starts to become you start to forget how cool it actually is yeah you, know, when you, you have to really have a good look at this car. yeah this yeah. is old tune port in here like and look at all the chrome work in here like yeah. that's crazy even the ac compressor is chromed on your like yeah, the whole yeah. works is done this truly is like a show show car i you think know? this was a, a late 90s build like all these builds had these tune port engines in right that totally. was that was the only fuel injected engine you could get and they're really reliable and good on fuel but you know what this one doesn't even even if it was restored back then it's still pretty tastefully it is. done it's not, it's not dated and it's not dated it's no. not 90s dated you know just some red inserts in the seats that match the exterior yeah. we use this wheel a lot still you know yeah it's got air conditioning this one's got power windows locks yep it's a lot of custom work yeah and the body style is pretty awesome split yeah. window in the back yeah, bustle back type thing. Yeah, it's a little guess slanty. We call it a yeah. slant back, but you know, what did you call it? A bustle back. Bustle back. Hmm. I've never heard of a bustle back. Sounds like something in the cornfield. <laughs> bustle back. <laughs> Looking for a new flavor. We got the SVT Cobra here. This was like, I, you know, this is another low low K car. It like, is. It real, really real is. Real good, real good driver. These were like I was a kid when these were out. I had a model of one of these. Oh yeah. And like I I remember how. How well, hot they, were, they were. They were state of the art when these came out. They like the, were. The dashes and now they're, you know, they're definitely not anybody's favorites. No, but no, but I mean, even like that, those two swoops that they did in there, right? Yeah. That was like, whoa, yeah. so retro, but so new and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It, it's a nice car. Like, and that it's a Cobra. It's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's going to move, right? It's pretty rare. Yeah. 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 This one's got a 4.6. So it's a quick little car. Oh man, we got like a whole another showroom to go through. Stick oh, with us, guys. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for watching. Nice lead sled, and it's out in the open now. The top's down. Yeah, we kind of made some more room around it. Everything was pretty tight here for the last couple of weeks, but we'd, I think me and Murray spent three hours moving cars on Monday. Oh, really? Well, yeah, that desk, that uh, Mustang desk had it was to go kind of go the front. Yeah. The front, and then all the pink cars from the front showroom are getting some work done because the duster is going to bear it right so yeah we got quite the quite the collection right like for example this is a 56 okay Six. and it's going right there yeah there at jackson january 20th and 28th in scottsdale yeah so, so all the rods hot rod fans make sure you guys watch the bear jackson auction to see what these cars go for i wonder if we're going to spot rod up there do you think we're going to see him i don't know i keep waiting for him to ask us to come along um yeah just yeah, some plane tickets. I've been working on him almost every day, but it's not working. <laughs> Take the whole team to Barrett Jackson. Yeah, he says, what do you think you are, horny Mike? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. No, more of Dirk Diggler. <laughs> <laughs> DD, right? <laughs> yeah. God, you know, we could go, geez, it goes on forever yeah. here. 65, 2 plus 2. Yeah. Do you, do you know what the 2 plus 2 stands for, Jay? 
Well, okay, so isn't the two plus two the version that, like it's two seats up there, two back here. Yeah. It's only four seats. That's exactly it. But it's because this thing flips down, right? Well, two plus two means two seats in the front and two in the back is what it, right. what it means. But is that because of the flipper two in the back here? Well, okay, so that's, I guess, watchers, viewers tell us that because if there's like there's this, the standard notch back right which has just a regular trunk mm -hmm. there's this one with this flip down thing but isn't there another version of this car that it's sealed up into that point it's just a, like a, a, a non-moving back seat i can't remember i don't know uh, i'm actually not sure that's a good question for the mustang guys out there it's two but you wouldn't want to be uh, in the back seat for too long put it that way no no, you wouldn't want to do much back there. No. I'm sure people have tried. <laughs> <laughs> ranchero. Rancheroo. Rancher, oh. Rancheroo. What did uh, Rod C. Dallas call it? Uh, ranch. El, El, El Rancho. El Rancho. Yeah. El Rancho. Yeah, El Rancho. El Macho. Oh, yeah. Ran I had a guy in high school call it a Rancheroo. Rancheroo. I like that. This little Yeah, Nova this little, this little Nova here. Like this one. It's a re real SS was a factory 283 now it's got a 350 yep super clean was car. a different color but the interior is original color and yep. the red and the tan just used to be a brown and tan or a fawn and a right tan or something but yeah it's a it's a cute little car it really is and it moves too yeah. i'm trying to convince my dad that, that uh, he's retiring he should buy this oh i don't know why this car is still here it's orange is his favorite color yeah and uh and it would make a nice matching pair to my to my buick so wouldn't it yeah cutlass white yeah. like we got the cream interior and the cream top in here cream, right cream yeah matching wheels it's this car is like came from the southern states so it is we even had a couple guys look at it recently and one guy couldn't believe how nice it was in the bottom yeah. the quarter panels are original like there's never been a quarter panel put on this car that's amazing yeah that's amazing yeah and i i drove this car to regina and back so it really summer. yeah it was like 31 degrees and well i had a lot actually a lot of trouble i had like four tires that went bad oh no. not not really with the car no, just not the, with the car just the tires they they had the same tires on here bf goodrich radial tas yeah um but it was so hot and the tires were old but they had lots of tread yep and they all separated by the time i got to regina really and like the tires all held together but they were oblong and funny shape so you're just yeah so by the end by the, the end of the trip we were going about 60k an hour <laughs> so i had a bunch of passengers that were not happy with me. 35 miles an hour yeah it took us about six hours to get to region oh my gosh <laughs> yeah really fun i like this stingray yeah still got one metal bumper on this one so it makes it a 73 73 yeah right 72 was the last year for our 72 of the front had the, the chrome front bumper front chrome right? bumper on yeah. it right so we started to go with some more fiberglass and the soft squishy nose that's on these things but yeah. uh this one's again in this is another, another such nice shape another low mileage car and it's look a blue interior with a blue car yeah, go see, figure nice, hey eh? right yeah i think we were when we looked at this the first time we're pretty convinced this is completely original this yeah. interior like it's never been yeah. redone the or still working in that yeah the clock works series. yeah all the gauges the clock works like it's it's really nice and look where the seatbelt comes out isn't that the coolest thing i know that, see? right up there hmm. that's kind of fun and i remember looking at one of these cars when i was a kid and just thought they were just so state-of-the-art well and actually Come to think of it, you know, this actually kind of was when you when you sort mm -hmm. of think that was the very first years of retractor shoulder belts, right? Yeah. Only a couple years earlier, if you go look at that Caprice that was on the other side, that Caprice Impala, whatever the it is. The Impala, yeah. It's got shoulder belts that hang from the ceiling that you Yeah, they were just awful. Yeah. Nobody ever used them. You break your collarbone when yeah. you get in an accident too. Yeah. And even the door handles on these cars were so neat. Yeah. Every every piece about it is like it's just pretty well thought out yeah look at this i think this is such a cool car and it's got four doors four and there's suicide in the back four suicides yeah and suicide in the front yeah. you know that's i don't remember where the thing is this is a 34 plymouth that's pretty wild and it's a plymouth yeah that's the other thing you know fords chevys when do you ever see a hot rod plymouth well not very often not very often this is a big big hemi isn't it yeah it's a hemi yeah right i think it's a 392 
Yeah. I, Look at the size of the head. I'm not 100% it. sure, but. And the big. I drove this rise. one home too, actually, one one day, and not that long ago. It was pretty chilly. And I drove home. It actually drives really nice on the highway. Very noisy. Open open headers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not so much noise in the cab. Just, no. just a little noisy from down here. But this this car, like if people came and looked at it, like the frame, like look at the frame. It looks like it's never seen a rock or a bug. Nope. It is like unreal nice. Yeah. It's like it was restored, done, and then never really driven. Yeah. You know? Even the paint is super yeah, nice. It's pretty cool. You can go from nice paint to not so nice paint, but have a lot of fun with it without it. Yeah, the old war pig. This is fun. This one's one of my favorites, actually. If you could drive this every day, it would be so much fun. The <laughs> neighbors would absolutely hate you, but <laughs> it would be so much fun. The Cadillac engine in here, I always forgot about that. But it's yeah. weird because it's it's an eight. Yeah. Right? Four plugs there with three exhaust ports. Yeah. So it, this definitely the two in the middle yeah. are shared, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this is this was in a magazine, this little truck. It's it was a really cool build. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet all overall. You'd never think that a Chevette would be in this showroom, but uh, no. the V8 under the hood is so powerful. It's just a burnout machine is all it really it is, is. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Now, who did that, I wonder? Rod. <laughs> Rod. It wasn't me. Just I boil the tires yeah, off, this, eh? This is, this, is a really, this is a really neat one. This is kind of back to childhood for me. Like, we had family friends who had one of these. Yeah. It was an Acadian, actually, but, you know, same yeah. thing. Yeah. I never, I never had a Chevette. The, I was, I had a couple of Plymouth Horizons and Dodge oh, yeah. Omnis, which they're basically the same looking car. That's right. But nobody ever did this with one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Big Fords here. Oh yeah, this is another, another really cool one. This has got a real whizzy 302. Uh oh. Okay, Darby, be smarter than the hood. There we go. Yeah. So this is a Stroke 302. It's got aluminum heads. Headers. Guys spent tons of money. Yeah, on this it's thing. like it's really jazzed. This car up. is like probably the best sounding car in the showroom. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's, got, it's got electric cutouts on it too. So oh no can, way! Open headers. It's just a really, nice. really original car, other than the engine and, wheels. And we haven't quite figured out this. Well, it probably had a vinyl top on it. It would add a vinyl top. It's got. It's got a textured black roof on yeah, it now. So, yeah, you know, from, okay. from a few more feet away, it looks like a vinyl top. Yeah. But the rest of it's just phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Totally. And uh, the bottom side of the car is really nice. Fleet sides here with matching Coca-Cola cooler in the back. This one is going to Barrett. This is going to Barrett. So don't get too excited unless you want to bid on it and bear it. But uh, yeah. I'm not even surprised this is going to Barrett because this is one of the... Yeah, like, I mean, it's an Apache, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. It's a nice little, little truck, 350 air conditioning. Truck. It'll it'll go for some good bucks. It'll oh yeah, be interesting to see. Well, nobody. These are so hard to find now. Yeah, like impossible, right? Yeah, I think they're super popular in the states too. But everybody wants one, except that they were they never sold in huge numbers because they yeah. were so expensive when they were new. Yeah, you know, it was kind of the very first upscale truck, if you want mm -hmm. to call it that, right? Yeah. Like it. It's it, a truck, but it's got, you know, it's special box on it and yeah. a whole bunch of extra bling and... It's a fancy, it was a fancy truck in the day. You know, it's kind of like the first high country. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, I guess, eh? RT. 74 Challenger RT, sold. Oh, sold. Yeah. The banana is gone. Okay, yeah. well, to the owners. The banana is gone. Enjoy it. GTO with the best cool, cool back end and it's a post car, which is kind of neat, but the windows yeah. still roll down. It's a, yeah. Doesn't look quite as nice in a postcard when the back window's <laughs> rolled down. Eh? It's not like a hard top. Uh, we got some new center caps are here. They oh just, yeah, good. Just came in today. From, we, the wheels are cool. Whatever this is, I don't know. Well, it's, it's kind a, of strange. It's like a center cap that looks like Pinocchio's off, nose off of a <laughs> four by four. <laughs> yeah, Pinocchio's nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Mm. But yeah, anyways, Darren from Rolling Steel got us some new center caps. Oh, so thanks, Darren. Hopefully, get them put on tomorrow. Cool. Uh, this again, the Scrambler. The Scrambler. You know, you just never see these anymore. And this one is so well done. It was at the Majestics Car Show last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's got this a This is one of my box. favorites in here. I just... It's so cool. It is so like, cool. Like between the, like, the amber colored rear window. Yeah, these seats are just... And, yeah, the seats are wickedly the awesome. Panel. However, what's neat is that it's, it's old and new again, right? We've got the old fabric tied in with new vinyl. And they're actually power seats out of a Dodge Caravan. Right. Yeah. So it's actually super comfy to Very sit in. Very comfy, yeah. 
And they say the original Jeep seats aren't very comfortable to sit in. I don't think they are. Because they say you sit so tight against the door. Yep. I've but, never seen I mean, like, look, it's it's all matched. It's all the yeah. original fabric. It's just tied in together in is, a new seat. Is that seat. the original fabric? I think it is. Where would you find that? I don't know. It feels like terry cloth, like, <laughs> like bathroom towels. <laughs> yeah. Your grandma had it. <laughs> yeah, grandma had towels yeah. like that. I remember that. This one, yeah, it's got a fuel injected uh, four liter. Yes, six. it's a modern yeah. Jeep engine. Yeah. To replace the old oh, one. I love it. Yeah, it's the well colors done. are just so nice. Yep. We got, we got quite a few Mustangs. Yeah, we got lots of Mustangs. We, yeah. we sure do. Yeah. This is a good thing, I guess. See, okay, look at the back of this one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Seat, like, folds down, or I think it folds down, but there's a package tray in here. Mm -hmm. huh? Is that a 2 plus 2? Or is that just no. a... No. Well, just I, don't a fastback. Know, I don't know. See, okay, so... Is, it, is, is any fastback called a 2 plus 2? I don't know. Somebody's going to yell at us on social yeah, media. Let us know what's yeah. going on. Yeah. I like the wood wheel right amount of pedals yeah super so this is the dash right we talked about like the the cobra yeah, over there the red the, cobra yeah nine mid 90s there. this is like the inspiration for that cobra dashboard yeah totally yeah nice car blue on blue oh, yeah it's great we actually got a hood scoop to go on the car here too just no way in. just came in today or a yeah. hood scoop like is that a new hood or it's a hood scoop going into the hood this scoop going on here like the what a factory 69 hood would have nice yeah like a mach 1 scoop good colors beautiful condition mm -hmm. yeah if you want if it's that's too new for you back to 66 here with this little, little 66 blue one scoop yeah yeah oh same nice thing again. blue on blue yep uh, automatic this automatic this one. yeah somebody's added an awesome classic console in between to match the seats though so yeah that's perfect yeah it matches perfect it does it really does yeah but yeah nicely done car nice headliner nice yeah. nice interior the whole bit everything is nice yeah. two eight nine the wheels are a little different but they actually work pretty well with this yeah, kind of a know? newer style newer take on the old the old style steel wheel yep people when i posted this car first the first time people were like i know that car it's from around saskatoon yeah this barracuda has got to have you know it's funny because the front of the car is sort of like, oh, okay, whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever. What? What's this? You know? Mm -hmm. It's like the f one guy designed the front and another guy designed yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah. Like, almost like Homer Simpson's car. That yeah. You remember yeah, that the one bubble top car. <laughs> yeah. The Homer. The Homer. Right? Is that what they called it? I think. Wasn't it called the Homer? I don't remember. Yeah. Anyways, to... this is one of the wildest, you know, creations that yeah. they've ever, ever came up with. Yeah. But, you know, I think the people at Chrysler were doing a lot of drugs in the 60s because we had some pretty crazy things. So, <laughs> like, the early 60s, the very early 60s at Chrysler was wackadoodle. Oh, yeah. Super cool. But oh, even they're, this, they're all weird. Even, eh? even this is kind of, like, sort of strange. But yeah. it all works. It's yeah. such a cool car. Such yeah, a and it's got a nice little stroker in it. It's, it sounds good. It is fast. Yeah, I've seen it around Warman lots. The little bug. It's still here. I can't believe it's still here. Yeah. I know, oh, it is so cool. So awesome. Oh, window bug. Yeah, it's got the trafficators in it, right? They they like Yeah, there's a name for it. Uh, uh semaphore. Semaphore. Yes. That's what they're called. Some but anyways, has, you put the single light on and they pop up. I think the other one is easier to get out. Yeah. Yeah, the other one the other one is easier to get out. If the keys were on in it, I would pop them out for you. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, right there we go. There it goes. Yeah, and they actually light up. They, actually they don't up. blink, they just light they up. They just light up. Yeah. The problem is, anybody behind you nowadays is not looking for this on the side of a car. No. Hey? Like, <laughs> no. not at all. But not this is an early one. 50, what, what was it? 50, this is a 54. 54? Okay, yeah. yeah. And the other one we have is a, in Rod's shop, is a 58. So it's not a split window, but it's an oval window, oval window yeah. bug. So that's still... And I think the oval windows were for, made for two years? Two yeah, it wasn't years. very long. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't very long. It's a pretty awesome car. This guy. Yeah, this is our little 71 oh. duster. And now we got the different wheels on it. 40, yeah, we changed the tires. We put the um, the dog dishes on here. Yep. It's a pretty uh, we cool did, color. Yeah, Ken did lots of work to this car. We had the we had the dash out, we put a new dash in. Yeah, um, package this, tray at the back. This was all painted, package tray. We got a whole bunch of stuff working that wasn't working on the car. Yeah, so it's like ready to roll yeah. and it looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, and a few things under the hood too, I should show you. We did. Was done to it. This has a nice shark tooth grill on it. Oh yeah, that's right. Proper top on the battery. Oh yeah. 
So, like, yeah. I don't know if we ever see one that's like even any more clean than this. No, really. it's definitely over restored on the inside. Totally, here. totally. Yeah, but that's the paint is awesome. so nice. The OJ special, OJ special over here. All right, yeah. Just the wrong color, but uh, it's a. Uh, uh, the cleanest one you're, I, I, I say that, but seriously, where are you going to find one that's this nice? Yeah. The frame is perfect. The body's perfect. The interior is just flawless in this truck. Yeah, the 94. It came from the south, I think. Yeah. It was, it's, got yeah, it's so nice. Electronic shifting 4x4, four four, so it's not even yes. the like... Yeah, you were looking for the... I was looking for the, the on the floor, you know, shifter. Yeah. It's not even there. Yeah, super clean. Cool color. Few left. Thanks for sticking oh, with man. us and watching yeah, this video. Getting, man, this oh man. Is, uh, we're getting close here. We got a fleet line. Okay, so we've had two of these. Well, they're not the same though, right? We have a sedan delivery. That's this car. Yeah, and then and we have a panel van. A panel van. Across the street. One's based on the truck. The panel van, yeah. This is actually based on a Chevy car. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, but, oh This one man. has a 5.3 five, five LS. It's, it's got the 59 Impala dash. Yeah. Look at that, all like in the there. The interior in this car is just unreal. Yeah, all red. Overhead console, it's got air conditioning. Like my, oh yeah, look up there. AC's not quite fully plumbed in, but it's under the hood and it's yeah, on our list of things to do. And the, I don't know, I just think the body is so wickedly cool. My yeah. wife would say that's a hearse, but I think it's awesome. Oh yeah, it'd be a great car for advertising. Oh, totally. Put your logo on the side. K69 Firebird. I pointed this out last time, but I think it's the interior is so cool. It's green. Because it's green. It's green, but also like that big console is way different mm -hmm. than, you know, what Chevy was doing. Yeah. A lot of like, you know, wood on it and things like that just to upscale the car mm -hmm. and separate it, which was, which was neat. Yeah. And it's got a beautiful paint job on it. And Char charcoal gray. You just can't beat that snout either. Yeah. You know, like that 60, what do we say? 69, 69 right? Yeah. So it was only a couple years later we had to have bumpers on cars. That's what they called a bumper, right? Like it's, yeah, that's it's, a bumper, it's yeah. just a grill. That's all it is. Yeah. But before we had all those rules come in, man, cars were dead sexy like yeah, that. I know all these rules, eh? And then all emissions, the all the things ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, very yellow, but this is a sweet truck. 81 yeah, Chevy. 81 Chevy C10, three, brand new 33 stroker. Um, sounds killer looks awesome all yep. in and out and up it's very underneath. well done some very <laughs> very matching interior parts and pieces mm -hmm. so it's a pretty pretty thorough truck actually yeah and the fury is here we got the gasser lots and lots of wheel and tire on this thing a roll cage in it <laughs> how actually, you you I, drove this to i Warman. did i drove it to the warman car show in in the fall and oh man this car gets attention. You want to drive something that people will stare at you, that's this car. No kidding. They're like, what well, the heck? I mean, look at the, look where the exhaust comes out, right? We're yeah. all jacked up in the front there. And it actually drives very nice. Like, Does it's, it really? It's, it's pretty tame. You can, you can do speed limit on the highway nicely. It's, a, it's actually a pretty good cruiser. The, the coolest thing about it, I think, is that this is just not the car you typically see the gasser, you know, no, set up, not. put on. Yeah. And that's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. And yeah. plus... Uh, you know, even even the, the Fury, even from these years, there's not a lot of these around to start with. No, so. they're, they weren't a very common car or popular, really. Big fender wheel headers and it, oh, look it's, at that. Uh, it's fun. Very cool. Really fast. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah. Well, that pretty much does it for what's over here. But if you can believe it or not, that is not all the cars we have, despite a 43 minute video. <laughs> thanks for sticking with us and watching but hey if you didn't see something you're looking for go to rodshotrods.ca all the pictures pricing details are there plus we got the other showroom over on the other side so there's more over there to see so make sure you go to the website thank you for watching rod will be with us live here again uh next week we'll catch you next time on hot rod hangout